Welcome to MMB PCP review. Make sure everything's working here. A lot of you want to know on not really the last video. A lot of people assumed a lot of things in the last video, but the one before about a company we call Brandex now. Um, why I went the route that I did with um, well calling out a company and it really wasn't a call out, it was just me bowing out and the reasons why. Now, a lot of you, if you followed my channel since its inception, you'll know that I was gung-ho and ecstatic about brand X. And in my mind, it was for good reason. I had no ill intent. I wanted to present something that was very exciting, very new, and um, something that, well, I thought wasn't out there and available in a platform like this. And it wasn't. So when I got my first Brand X, and I didn't dive into it deep. I wasn't expecting a lot. It looked fantastic. But then I used it. And it was fantastic. So fantastic that most people didn't believe how fantastic that it was. Most people called me a liar. Most people said I was getting paid by the company. And the general consensus was that it was just plain terrible and I was full of shit. Well, as time progressed and I kept testing this and testing it and diving into it and taking it apart and seeing what make, made it tick looking at the machine work, looking at the polishing of the internals. And it, it quickly became a sensation where people were like, wow, I need to get one of these. Look at this. Look at how this is. So I based my review and the reviews, consistent reviews of this particular PCP off its first initial and carried out through through a lot of videos how it was still performing and 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 what it did. Now, did it have some hiccups along the way? Well, sure it did. I'll give you a for instance, and I, I didn't record it. Actually, I did record it, but I, out of respect for the company, did not put this recording out. I did have an issue, and because I believed the issue was my fault. And that issue was I took this PCP out in the extreme cold, where it was about, I don't know, probably zero to five degrees. And I had an, the air valve stick open and lose all the air. Well, that was due to condensation around the valve and it didn't seat properly. I, I've had it happen before. And I didn't believe that was indicative of the PCP by any means. So no, I didn't post that. I still have that, but I didn't post it. I don't, I don't think, I think at the time that would have been very wrong to put that out and it wouldn't have been a real, um, it wouldn't have been a real rendition of what the PCP was actually doing and capable of. And time went on, and this Brand X PCP that I had seemed to perform very consistent and well, excellent. Excellent. Still does. Went back and tested again a couple weeks ago, maybe not even, and... Um, the thing's still on the money. Some of the best groups, when I say groups, and I told, I've told everybody that this thing tack drives, people didn't believe me. And I went back and tested it at 50 yards again the other day and literally hit tacks. So you can watch that video if you want. And the company, I started getting some bad vibes about this particular company. And I'm not trying to bash the company. I want you to understand that. What I'm bashing is the concept of being lied to. Well, because shit rolls downhill. 
when I started reviewing this and I was very excited about it. And I was excited about this particular company because they stood for something in my eyes. And I believed them. And I was told a lot of things that simply were not true. Um, it wasn't even, I, I would like to call it fluff, but it wasn't even fluff. It, it was just, it was just lies. And looking back, I don't understand the lies. I understand the lies if you're trying to make a quick buck and that's it, the bottom line and as fast as possible. I understand that, but in this PCP world, and it's not, it's not a close knit world like people think. There's little clicks here. There's little clicks like high school. It's childish high school games. And that's what it is. Nobody stands really together. They uh, they love the one you're with or they fence ride. I don't do that. I'm going to call it the way I see it. And I don't care if it pisses them off or it doesn't. Because I'll just hit the button and you'll be gone. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's my channel. I'll do what I want. And then that's as long as it's the truth. Truth will set you free, right? So anyhow, I gave the benefit of the doubt a lot. Started hearing things that didn't add up, but I still gave the benefit of the doubt. So much of the fact that I had had cognitive dissonance and I didn't want to, I didn't want to believe um, the things I was hearing, and um, I tried to pretty much um, reassure people that things would be okay and. Months would go by, and even to this date, things aren't okay. So there comes a point where you have to be a realist and realize that things aren't what they seemed. Now, I realize that any new company or new rebrander or whatever can have growing pains and have some problems with manufacturing, and I totally get that. But what you do in those cases is you step up and say, look, I've got problems in manufacturing, and um, I'll look into it and see what I can do. You address your customers. You, you give a statement, and you apologize and tell them that it will be taken care of as soon as possible. I don't believe it's correct, especially when you promise to, um, to um, get a whole, always answer, always return, always return emails. I don't think it's and that's the, one of the initial things that, that the company was founded on that you all of a sudden stop answering phone calls, apps and emails and, and what have you and putting people on the back burner. I don't think that's right. Especially when they were promised that and they based purchases off of that. And they based their purchases off of my reviews. And I guess that's what irks me the most because, and I said it before, I regurgitated what I was told because I believed, I did believe. Then I started not believing a little bit. Things didn't make a little sense. And then I got to the point where some lies were told. And then I was told, you know, a while later, something totally different. Because you know how lies are. You forget what you lied or how many people you lied to. And the lie changes. I don't do that. I got to steal trap. And it sticks there. I know exactly what things were, were said. And I guess that's what bothers me the most. I don't. I don't care if there's production flaws. I get that. That stuff can be fixed. But what can't be fixed is trust. And um, a lot of people want this brand X to succeed, and I hope they do. I hope they go about it a different way, but I hope they succeed. So I want to make that clear. I don't wish failure on anybody. I hope they learn. That's what I wish. God bless them, and I hope they learn. But I won't get bashed on my channel. I just won't have it happen. You'll be gone. I don't care because it's my channel. And for those of you who love the information, thank you. God bless you. You guys are awesome. But for those that step in and think they know everything and everything about me and they don't have any idea, I got no use for you, got no place for you. There's other channels to go to where you can live in your utopia and pretend things are the way that they're not if you want to. But I'm not going to do it here. I said the same thing about Sig Sauer. They have shitty ear products. Ear gun products. And that's the way it is until they fix it. That's just the way it is. Would I recommend them? 
No, I, I loved them when I got them until I dove into them and found out what they were about and how they were made and using the pop metal. And then I, when I had my video conference with them, I totally lost all faith when they told me it was all about the bottom, the bottom line, the dollar and not the customer. When I heard that out of the horse's mouth, nope, bye-bye. Won't, won't even recommend another one. They're pretty, got it. So yeah, I call it the way it is. And I hope that some of you out there appreciate that I call it the way it is. Because I had a lot of time and effort into a company. And sadly, that company gave me a lot of viewers and I feel guilty for that. They gave me a lot of viewers because I really, really believed what I was telling you about their product line. And don't get me wrong. Some of them still, I get emails to this day how great some of these were when they came out. And I believe it because I got one. But that wasn't indicative. Indicative. It just wasn't indicative of, of what most were getting. And it's come to the point where it's like your favorite football team. You just love them because you do. You got one, you love it, and now you're biased. I'm not biased. I see tons of these things every day. I'm not biased. And like I said, all the problems could have been rectified. We could have talked about the problems, talked about quality control issues, and... Um, we got to resolve and made customers across the board very, very happy. But that wasn't what was happening. What was happening is they were being ignored and there was lots of lies being told. And I don't know exactly how many lies were told. I know which ones were told, but there's other things that I question now. And I think rightfully so. Very important things. Um, I don't want the company to fail. Calling out a company is what a lot of you thought that I did. I really wasn't calling out the company. What I was is giving a public statement saying that you've been lied to and you better check into what even I told you. Because I'm the one that told all of my viewers all of this stuff that wasn't true based on what I was told. And you all were told some things that is one of my... One of my first videos about the company, when she was speaking live to me, you were all told lies. And I called it from the horse's mouth, remember? So let's get it from the horse's mouth. One of the most watched videos that I've ever had. And I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of it. But I was so excited. I was excited with the new YouTube channel in a company that appeared to have everything in order and stand for a lot. I was excited. I continued to be excited and I made excuses. I, I battled for this company, literally battled for this company and put up with so much shit on forums. People bashing, bashing me, bashing my shooting. And if you guys watch my channel, you know I can shoot. You obviously know I can shoot. But when I first came out, nobody knew I could shoot. They were they were critiquing my, my shooting. And we won't go into my background again because we already did that over and over. Which is pretty hilarious because, let's face it, these are air guns. These are air guns. They're not, they never will be, they'll never be close. No matter what anybody thinks or says, they just won't be. So if you're living in that utopia too... Ooh, you can delete my channel because they're not going to be. They're fun. Some states allow you to hunt with them. And they're fun. They're powerful. But they're not on the same level and they never will be. There's physics involved and they just never will be. But do we want the most powerful ones? Of course we do. It's fun. Like anything, we want the fastest cars too. They're fun. So the point of this video is to... Maybe help a little cognitive dissonance about any brand. None are perfect. None will ever be perfect. But the companies can have a little values towards 
It's customers. Because it's ruining it for everybody. And unfortunately, the quality of this stuff is getting worse and worse. And that's okay, too, because I'm really not worried about it in the grand scheme of things. Because have you looked out there in the world lately? I think there's a lot more important issues going on that we're all also being um, cognitive dissidents towards. Pretending things are great, and they're not. So this little air gun world really doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. But what does mean something is that we don't get lied to and we get treated with respect if you want respect back. And that's what it boils down to. Now, like I said, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not trying to be mean. But I think the people watching the channel would like to know if something that I told them in the beginning is not true. What kind of person would I be if I kept regurgitating the lies and kept telling customers who emails that I'm getting? I mean, you have no clue how many emails I get because I spoke so highly of a company saying my shit is up. And I don't know what to do because I'm not getting a return phone calls or emails and I'm stuck. Some even sent their stuff out and never got it back. And I'm hearing these stories and I'm thinking, ah, it's just one or two. And I didn't, they started, when they rolled in, they rolled in and, and it was really frustrating. Super, super frustrating. So that's why I had to take the route I did because I asked on the phone, this brand X, to at least make a statement to reassure the customers that they would be okay. And this is after I found out the lies. I bit my tongue. And I saw that the conversation was going in a direction, and I played the conversation. I admit it, I played the conversation because I was being played and I knew it. And the question got skated around. Okay. All right. You're going to skate around it. And that was it. And then I did a little soul searching and I sit back and I said to myself, do I let this continue to happen? Do I just walk away leaving my viewers in the dark about this brand? Or do I say something and be responsible? And maybe two things. Give everybody a heads up and make a company either step out or step up. And that's what I tried to do. So if you might not agree with my tactics, well, you're not me. You didn't see what I saw. You're not me, and that's fine. You can do it a different. You can get your own YouTube channel. You can start your own channel and do whatever you want. And there's another thing. I'm not going to ride the fence. I'm not a fence rider. It was stated to me. You better be careful because you might not get any more free products to review. That blew me away, that statement. Well, first off, I get very little free products. And it doesn't bother me. I pay for my stuff. And I don't have... This is going to make people mad. I'm not asking people for money. I'm not going on and saying, donate, 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 donate. And I won't do it. Won't do it. Somebody wants to donate to the channel, fine. I'm not asking for nothing, and I never will. It's that simple. Somebody want I got to think, you want to send me cool stuff? That's your, go for it. Do you want to donate? Cool. And that would go towards whatever for the channel. Guaranteed 100%. But I will never sit here and ask for any donation, okay, to this channel. I will never do it because I'm keeping it real. And you know what? I'm not getting paid off. It's that simple. I won't sell out and I won't get paid off. And if something's wrong, I'm going to address it and I'm going to address it to you. And that's the way it's going to be. So thank you for watching M&B PCP Review. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.